Okay, all right. Here we got a nice video here. And uh, it's mostly about buck knives, but got a couple Winchesters in there too. So, and then one off-brand off -brand knife. And uh, these are some slip joint knives here that I like, that I bought. I've had them for some time. You know, these, some of the original ones I started out with. My first knife was a slip joint knife, single blade, back when I was a child. And, uh, you know, I've always had a fascination or enthusiasm for blades. So, you know, it's like most everybody that likes blades, they starts off when they're young. But, yeah, so here go a buck canoe knife. Now, you know, I, I just recently, I didn't always know the names of these knives. Just needed this, the different styles, but this is a buck canoe knife. This came with a, um, a gift set along with this one. That's why they have special edition on the blade because they, uh, they came in a gift set, Walmart gift set. You get some really good stuff at Walmart, you know, from time to time. So, yeah, you just got this toothpick style knife. It's a buck. I believe these are one that might be one of the made in China ones. I'm not sure, but the made in China ones seem to be as good as the American made ones in um, in most in most time, most instances. So, yeah. Then we got uh, the Stockman, Stockman style. This is like a mid sized Stockman. The Stockmans usually have three blades. And, uh, like this one. This is a stockman that's three blades. But this is a a buck stockman. So, you know. It's gonna be sharp with that 428 C. That's what they use. So I got this one here with the wood. I like that wood. I don't know if it's the, the diamond wood, it probably is, but but it's good though. Good fit and finish. And uh this is one with a uh, imitation bone handle I don't think that's real bone but nevertheless it looks like it's good quality it's got good fit and finish and it's a buck you know I'm a buck fan I buck buck is a legendary knife company here's a another one of their toothpick style knives I think they may, they may have came in and set these two. I don't know. Because they got they both got that imitation jig bone on there. You know, so. But these two, I know I bought them separately. Bought them individually. These two here. They're the same, but bought individually. So we got the canoe. We got these Stockmans. The toothpick. The other toothpick that comes with the special edition. Then we got these Winchesters here. So I like, I like Winchester knobs as well. Pocket knobs anyway. So this one got a nice little design on the bolster. Like the bolster area. It's got wood on it. It's got the Winchester inlay on there. It's got little metal liners in there. It's got a line of lock. So partly serrated blade, so it's a combo edge with thumb studs on it. Taper on the tip. With the name Oliver F. Winchester on the blade. So got the uh, original owner of the company back when he uh First opened up Oliver F. Winchester. His name's on the blade. I guess that's in respect for him, you know, being the founder of Winchester. And this is what the stockman looks like. This is a um, real bone on this one with the Oliver F. Winchester on there. Got some little mosaic type designs on the bolsters. The three blade stockman. Got the sheep's foot. The spade blade and the clip point with Winchester written on it. I like this so much after I bought this one. You know, with that bone design on there and 
you know, and no, no two of them are exactly the same on the on the bone. That I bought another one. You know, I think they're good to have. You know what I'm saying? You know, they last, they last just as long as any other quality knife. And they, 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 they are very good quality. And this is another one, another Stockman. It's just like that one. It's got the sheep's the spade blade. The sheep's foot and the clip point. Got the wood on there. Like this one did. Like this one has. The wood makes it look good too. So they like to put wood on their pocket knives. Doesn't have any the inlay is not really big enough to have that on there. But uh yeah, it's a good little knife here. And we got these bucks over here. This this is one that they they got in three sizes. I think this is the mid size one here. But it's a nice knife. It's sharp as all outdoors. And then we got this one here. It's got a lanyard hole on it. Tapered point. Made in the USA with thumb studs, and it's a lock back with the lock all the way down at the bottom. And this one kind of got like a sheep's paw at the bottom, because this one just curves around, but it's got a lanyard hole on it also. Well, they say you got USA on them. They don't say made in the USA, so I guess...